There was shouting and emotion, but no violence. The National Socialist Movement holding a rally on the steps of one government center. Roughly 200 members of the community there in protest. The courage that it takes to come up here to uh, even witness this and at the same time the control and power that it is to restrain yourself. I want to show them up close and personal what I feel true ignorance is. While many shouted obscenities toward the NSM members, some took a much different approach. Deontay Moss brought a sign that read, you hate me, I love you. They just need to be told or somebody needs to let them know that they're loved too and that somebody loves them. Uh, and I think that's the message that I want to promote today. A common argument against the National Socialist Movement is its use of the swastika. NBC 24's Hubert Wiggins asked NSM Commander Jeff Scoop about that before the rally. But it's also the symbol of one of the greatest episodes of mass murder in the history of humankind. I'm not going to entertain that. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, here to revise history. I don't believe in the, in the Holocaust myth, and it's not something that I'm here to discuss today. It has nothing to do with uh, the National Socialist Movement today, and, and what might have happened, uh, what they claim happened in the 1940s has nothing to do with any of us here today. But we're not about even listening to this type of rhetoric. TPD Chief George Crawl told me his officers were well prepared for the event, which wrapped up without major incident. During the rally, one of the barricades broke open for a short time, though nobody attempted to cross it. At least one was escorted out of the enclosed area after throwing something toward the NSM rally. He was not arrested. After the event, crowd dispersal took some maneuvering. I, I don't think it's fair, man. It's not fair. One was taken away in handcuffs. Police were eventually able to move the crowds. No reports of violence, injuries, or property damage. Jim Nelson, NBC 24 News.